What's up, everybody? My new song, Secrets Left Behind, is out everywhere for you to listen to and to celebrate. Why the heck not? Let's take a look at the session. Let's look at percussion, right? I don't know. Let's do it. So the beginning of the song starts off. I am one. Chromio and Anomaly, two of my favorite artists, they did a collab EP. After they released the EP, they also released a sample pack on Splice, and this is a loop from that pack. So here it is without my effects. So you're gonna hear a little bit of like artifacting because I had to time stretch the audio to make it fit the tempo of the song. After you dump on all the effects, you don't even hear it. For this first one, I'm using utility to make the signal a mono signal. When I activate this auto pan, it's sending a mono signal to the left and right channels of the mix. Next, I have a grain delay. Really subtle, you can't really hear hear it too much. Then I have an EQ, basically putting a low pass on it. And then I have this auto filter. So the filter opens up every measure. And what this does is it cuts off a lot of the high end information, gives it a little bit more movement, uh, makes it more interesting to listen to. Next up, we have this sort of like tom loop, basically throughout the entire track. You can barely even hear it, but you can feel it. So let's hear what it sounds like without the effects first. <laughs> it's too much. So now with the gate, more staccato, make it a mono signal and pan it. Add the grain delay. Add a little bit of overdrive. And then I have this EQ to roll off the high-end information. So let's hear that with all of the percussion sounds. The purpose of this is really just to you don't, you're not really recognizing it, you're really just feeling it, right? One of my favorite sounds is another group of toms that I have going, and they have a really fun grain delay effect on them. And those are kind of going on throughout the track just to kind of give the drums a little bit more flavor, make the drums a little bit less boring. The percussion in this song was inspired by Her's first record, H-E-R, whatever. I don't know. How do you spell her? I don't know. <laughs> And a lot of her songs, like all of the high end on the percussion is basically rolled off. And what that does is it creates a lot of room for the vocals to sit in the mix. Basically all the high end information in the mix is coming from reverb and vocal tracks. That's one reason why I'm rolling off a lot of the high end and almost every single percussion sound in the song. Let's hear the last chorus. We have a little bit more movement with those funky tom sounds. The filter is a little bit more open on the hi-hat and the snare, but not open all the way. So that way when we get to the outro, they're open for the first time in the song. And then of course we have the chromio and anomaly loop and the low end tom. That's just going throughout the entire song. So let's solo just the drums for the last chorus. opening up the hi-hats and the snares are opening up it's about to drop to the last part all the way open now and that's just to create more movement in the drum feel and in the song feel. Yeah, so that's a quick breakdown of the percussion in my song, Secrets Left Behind. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the sounds. If you would like to download the stems for this track, a link to that is in the description of this video if you wanna remix it or mix it yourself. The song is available to download for free on SoundCloud and available to stream everywhere. A link to all that good stuff is also in the description of this video. Please share it if you enjoyed it. I don't know, whatever. Uh, uh, uh <laughs> okay bye everyone have a have a good day have a good day have a good time <laughs> i don't know see you later